Ports from coast to coast are working around the clock to try and ease all the shortages in stores, but experts, experts say that shelves will be pretty bare for the holidays. Consumer investigator Kristen Byrne found ways to navigate the grocery shortages so you aren't left with an empty table. By now, you're familiar with national shortages of a lot of products. For Thanksgiving, let's start with the centerpiece for every table, the turkeys. The good news is there are plenty of turkeys out there. The bad news is the logistics of getting it from the farm to the production or process to the grocery store is where we may see a struggle. Grocery supply chain expert Pedro Reyes says there's not enough laborers to process the turkeys. This also rings true for dairy and eggs. Unfortunately, he says not only will we see shortages, but also price increases. The chickens, they produce so many eggs per day. But if they can't be processed forward, then they have to be thrown away. Carrie Byrne leads one of the nation's largest logistics companies, Total Quality Logistics. Every component of the supply chain is stressed right now due to consumer demand, pent up consumer demand, um, and a shortage of labor. Meanwhile, Ray's warns produce is the next big thing that could be hard to find. If you're into the cranberry sauce, uh, not to start a panic, but you probably want to get that now. And just like in 2020, pumpkins are in short supply because of a fungus. Also, due to overseas shipping issues, alcohol shortages are happening in some areas. It may be harder to find specific brands. Buying early on these items avoids price hikes later. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne.